Hi there, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Have you ever heard the saying, thoughts become things? Well, it's true, very, very true. Everything we think causes motion and activity. Now, our thoughts are a frequency of energy that we send out to the universe as to what we want or what we don't want. And those frequency of energy spiral back to us, giving us what we've actually asked for in the first place. So have you ever noticed the more you focus on something, that the more you receive it? Well, this, in fact, is evidence of the universal law of attraction that attracts us all. So our thoughts have tremendous power as they shape our vision, our outlook on life, our perspective, and how we choose to see the world around us. Now, how we choose to see the world around us determines our words, our actions, which determines our outcomes and how and what we succeed at. And really what is imprinted in our subconscious mind just becomes our reality. So the question is, how can we influence our reality? Well, it's very simple. We just choose to control our thoughts. And one way we can actually uh, control our thoughts is through the daily action of manifestation through vision boards. Now, vision boards are a wonderful way to conquer, conquer our negative thoughts by the daily practice of uh, positive um, thoughts, focusing on, on the things we want to bring into our life. Things, for example, might be a dream job. It might be a material item, a pair of sunglasses or a phone or something like that. Now, to discuss this today, we're joined by our very special guest Susan Robinson from Mummy to Twins Plus One. Now Susan Hi. Robinson is a busy mum to her identical twin girls and her third son um, Alexander. Thank you so much for joining us today Susan. How are you? I'm good thanks. How are you? Wonderful and very excited to be chatting to you about something um, that I'm also really, really um, like passionate about. Now, I'm personally a huge fan of vision boards and I've actually had them in my life for the last 15 years and I've actually dug out some from the garage, <laughs> um, which I'm going to use today as well. But they have helped me in so many different ways and helped me actually bring wonderful things and experiences into my life. Now, I've got a question for you. Um, you know, we are going through a difficult time at the moment. Um, so why in your experience do you think that um, using vision boards is something that I guess families should be considering um, and trialling at the moment maybe is something new? Well, as you said, we've got the time because we're home. Yep. Uh, lots of people are struggling. So um, lots of people are thinking about the negatives. So I thought, well, I was doing the same. So I was thinking I should be grateful for what we have, a roof, food, etc. healthy kids, healthy family. And um, I was wanting to focus on what I would like to do in the future. So I thought, well, how do I manifest that within me and the world and how do I put it out there for it to become a reality? So I've always wanted to do a vision board. Um, I was thinking about doing a, a, what, like the ones you have, like a physical one, like a board. But um, yeah, sure. Um, but I decided to do a digital one um, because a I have a small house and b at least it didn't cost me, so I didn't have to go and get the physical um, stuff to make one. Um, so I did that. So um, I put in obviously earning capacity because that's pretty huge for the moment, and um, family, health, um, new house, which we've been hoping to get. Um, travel uh, and then opportunities and then basically family so I put in a whole lot of um, images that would represent those type of fun things um, and things for me personally and things for me business-wise like work uh, oh yeah there's yours that looks cool yes yeah, so and I um, to explain yeah. to people maybe that don't know what a vision board actually is so for oh, anyone yeah. watching the vision board is really like a collage of things that you want to bring into your life and it can be basically any size um, and as Susan mentioned she's actually created a digital one and she'll explain a little bit in a moment how she's done that from a digital perspective as mentioned I've had these in my life for a very long time and these are some very old ones this particular one is from one from 2013 but as you can sort of see it's that this particular time I wanted a cross trainer and I wanted to go to Japan and I wanted all these things. You can see where the ticks are of things yeah. that I sort of um, had achieved <laughs> them. And I've got different, um, how can I say, like different sort of sayings and those types of things as well. So it may not even just be, I guess, the material items that you actually want to bring into your life. It may actually be other things and different sayings um, that you actually sort of have that are, are of importance to you um, and it might just be as part of asking for the the, um, the, the 
the, the physical things, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. it may also be that you're also adjusting your the thought, thought process from a negative one to a positive one. Um, yeah. But tell us That's a little true. bit, I, I've created these um, starting from as simple as a, um, a you know, a, a blank piece of, of um, cardboard, like something like this, right? Now, you can probably do it from a, from a digital perspective. So you tell us how you created yours using mm -hmm. um, Canva. Sure. Um, I went to an online tool, which you can get to just by a website called Canva. So it's canva.com, um, C-A-N-V-A.com. And um, you go there and um, you can create anything you like. So I went there and I selected the template for US letter. You, you don't need to do that one. You can do any size you wish. But that was the one that I chose. So I chose that. And then I went to their grid patterns. So you can pick any grids. You can have small grids. You can have in intricate. It depends on how many pictures you have. Then once my, you know, the page was set up, then I go to the upload function and because I'd already chosen all the pictures, um, I then go to the upload and then I upload all the images and then I can then drag and drop. So you can drag it, drag it to the grid where you want it. And then if you decide, oh no, I don't like that there, you can then drag it somewhere else. And then you can then drop your picture wherever you want. You can add text, you can add little stickers, you can add all these different act, like additions to it. And then once you're happy with it, you can then save it out as a PDF, save it out as a JPEG, save it out as a PNG, whatever you wish to do. You can print it out. You can, um, mine's actually as my desktop background picture because then every time I go to my, my computer, I see it. So then it reinforces what I would like to do and be. And um, so that's yeah. the way I did that. So it's so it's a pretty much you can create them any mm -hmm. one way. You can either a, a, a physical hard copy that you put onto the wall and or a digital yep. copy, which is something is a lot a lot more cost effective at this this point in time, especially that we can't necessarily. Um, it's not as easy to get down to shops and everything else. See, that's another point too. Yeah, <laughs> you can do it easily at home without leaving your house. So um, so you can just search the internet for all the images you like. It doesn't matter about copyright because you're not you're not selling it, you're not broadcasting it. So it, it's something that's just for you. So you can like save it, you can print it out and then it means then you can see it and it makes you happy and it visualizes what you would like to, to like yeah. your goals. And, and, and that's just the question I think a lot of people are gonna be asking, well, why would you make a vision board? And the whole idea is that it helps you well, there's, there's three main things. Articulate, first of all, what, what do you actually want in your life? And, mm -hmm. and as we're going through this shift at the moment, a lot of people are home with a lot more time in their hands, thinking about maybe reevaluating their personal values and all kinds of things. Now, as we were just saying before, thoughts are things, and we, we do have the ability to be able to create our world um, as simple as a blank piece of canvas as to what we actually want in our lives. And it all starts with our thoughts and actually what we are putting out and what we're actually asking. So from that perspective, it does give us the opportunity to help focus our, our goals, our intentions, and our wishes out to the universe. So to begin with, um, I think the first thing is that we need to identify what do we really want in our life and, and having a list of those things now the, the second thing is is then articulating um you know from a visual perspective how you can um uh, I, I guess um articulate that so you actually know yourself when you're looking at your board and as you were saying you can yeah. google pictures and and or cut them out and those types of things and the third yeah. thing is once you've created your board and it may be a combination of images and sayings and all kinds of things as you were saying before we do need do need to do the daily practice it's not just a matter of actually creating mm. the board and whacking it on the wall or on your desktop yeah. computer and say thanks universe i've done the work you actually need to do the daily work now yeah that, that is very true. True. yeah now how did you do your yeah. daily work well um so as i said i i did my board and then um because i'm um, i wanted to see if I could earn more money because of the current situation for the family. I put um, messages out there to the universe. Like I put posted stuff on Facebook groups about what I was looking for. And um, it just so happened that um, somebody saw that and said that they needed somebody to write something for their website. And then they said, would you like to do this? And then I did that. And now I'm doing some paid work. Um, so 
I mean, it's a coincidence in a way that it happened, you know, after my vision board. But I did put it out there. So, you know, I'm, I'm taking that as like a tick in a way that it's working. Um, and also to, I'm, I'm trying to be more um, grateful for what we have. So, for example, like the family aspect. Um, and um, I'm thinking that if I keep on plugging away with doing what I'm doing online and with progressing with doing things for others, therefore they'll see that and therefore think of me. Yes. Um, so I, it's like a win-win in a way. So it, it helps everybody out and it helps you too. And then when the world becomes, you know, a little bit better, <laughs> um, therefore they'll go, oh, well, somebody did that for me and that were really helpful. Uh, I might employ them or yes. I might get them to do that. So then it's like it's, it, it, it helps you in the long run, I think. Um, I, I think in life if you don't ask, you never receive. And so yes, there's no true. reason and there's no excuse for being grumpy about something if you're not doing anything about it or you haven't actually asked for it. And I think a lot of the time we in life can be a little bit frustrated with all kinds of things, but when you actually sit with a tea or a coffee, have a moment of, of mindfulness yourself and actually think to yourself, have I actually asked for this or have I actually articulated that I want it? I may be frustrated in my thoughts about the fact that I don't have things in my life or things aren't going my way, but at what point have you articulated it? And I think you actually need to put that out. And that's why vision boards are so good and they are so powerful because what it actually ends up doing, besides the fact that it has you articulate very clearly what you actually want and you're putting it out there you subconsciously when you and that's what we're saying about doing the work you actually need to sit there and look at it even if it's just for a minute a day or whatever it is um and when you you, you spend that time every day looking at the things that you actually are asking for subconsciously it actually puts actions into your mind to get that I actually probably should do this today or I should yeah. send that email or I should maybe do this and and well, that's it and, and that's yeah, how like doing courses to help you progress it's like well if I want that there was a course online that was doing that maybe if I do that therefore I can do this and then like it's a nice path yeah um and, and another thing that I've learnt um, very much so um, in the 15 years that I've, or more that I've been doing this, is that you need to actually give it a time frame. Because I think sometimes when you ask for things, as the universe can go, thanks, that's great, you want this particular thing. But mm -hmm. you need to sort of to give it a, time, a realistic time frame um, about mm -hmm. how and when you want that, that thing delivered to you by. And that helps actually set some, a little bit of rules as well. Because otherwise you can say, I want this, and they'll say, great and we'll give it to you but it could be in another 10 years time no i need it within oh, yeah. the time frame <laughs> this particular story i know what you mean about timelines yeah <laughs> Yes, and this is this particular story is something that everyone can Google on YouTube um, and is a true story with Jim Carrey. And I'm not sure, and I'll just paraphrase it very, very quickly because you do speak mm -hmm. about it in the article also um, yes. that there are mm -hmm. um, a lot of celebrities that have used this. Jim Carrey, as an example, had actually wrote himself a cheque before he was famous for $10 million for, at, um, for acting services rendered and he actually dated it five years in the future. Now, he... He's, he didn't have a vision board, but what he did, his, um, his um, thing that he actually wanted, obviously, was to be a, a paid actor in Hollywood. So he used to drive around the Hollywood streets, um, looking at the houses and, and sit there in Mulholland Drive and think, okay, well, like he, like he already had it. And that's the biggest thing about manifest, manifesting. You have to believe you already have it in your life. And that comes from the, the art of um having like more gratitude in itself but every day he actually practiced and put out this is what i'm asking for now lo and behold is a true story within um six months before the the, the due date um mm -hmm. first of all i'll, I'll explain the, yeah, the the check was for 10 million dollars for um act um $10 million for acting services rendered. To, uh, six months before the, the, the deadline, he actually had asked the universe. He got um, the first movie for Dumb and Dumb Mum, and it actually was for $10 million. So if that doesn't give you <laughs> goosebumps, it's a true story. You can oh, my God, it. that's bizarre. <laughs> so yeah. This is, you know, true in form. So a, a vision board can be a physical thing like I've actually done. It can be a mm -hmm. digital um, uh 
a board that you've actually created in your computer, but whatever it is that you're articulating, you need to be able to have the practice of being clear in what it is that you want. You need to ask for it and you need to be able to have daily practice every day. Um, and That's it's wonderful true. that, that yeah. you've found this. And um, I think for a, lot of, a lot of families too, in your situation, like you were saying that you're out of work mm -hmm. and now you've asked mm -hmm. for it, you put together a, a vision board and very quickly it came, came to you. So, I mean, so what, what's your experience? Are you going to continue using it now? Yes. Yes, I will be. Yes. As you can see, I'm, I'm trying to be in like a tropical paradise <laughs> at the moment. So I'm visioning that. <laughs> so, um, that's the next step. Like when we can travel, I want to travel. So, um, so that, that's the next vision. I'd like to save up money so we can do that. Um, yeah. And what would yeah. you say, Susan, would, um, to anyone that's watching who don't believe in all of this stuff? Well, a lot of people think it's, like, not working because it's, like, voodoo or, like, out there. Um, I think that anybody would think that you've got to think positive. You've got to think visually about, like, the outcome. Like, anybody who's done any racing or um, activity at school, they always think you've got to picture being a winner. So anybody who's done like a running race, they say you've got to go in and think you're going to win. You don't go in thinking you're going to fail. Um, so it's, it's the same logic in a way. You, you go in thinking that what you're going to try to achieve is something that you want to do. It's going to be successful. It's something you want to achieve. And then um, you look at the end result as a goal and then it focuses you. And then it means that you're more empowered because you feel happier about it. So then you do small like items or goals. You do small chunks of stuff to get to the end goal to then be at this tropical paradise <laughs> or have the car or have the raise at work or get the job or um, save up the money to go on the holiday or whatever your goal is it doesn't need to be huge it could be the fact that you want to um, just upgrade your car um, it, it could be as simple as you, you want to build the new house um, it, it, it could be anything that you want just as or you, you could want to get out of this and you know not lose your house you know I mean it's something as long as it keeps you going and it keeps something happening for you and it's a positive outcome it's all good i think yeah and as you said it's about chunking it down and what that means is you know what's the, what's the the saying the only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time so it's about <laughs> having the big hairy audacious yeah. goal but you then you need to break that down and that's the daily practice of what you need to do every day to be able to yes. achieve that which is really, really important. Um, so um, for anyone that's, I guess, is, is quite sceptical about this, it doesn't cost me things. So just give it a shot. Just give it a yeah. shot. Well, that's what I thought. I thought at this point in time, I really have nothing to lose um, and I can only go up. And um, if it works, it works. And um, if it doesn't, well, I haven't invested anything. Um, I'm at home anyway. <laughs> so... Um, and I thought if it does benefit us, it's going to be great. So I thought I'd give it a go. Yep. And I think, you know, the, the only other follow on thing that I've actually found in all my years of doing this and having um, had a wonderful time <laughs> with visualization vision boards is the fact that you can't really think you, you've got to keep your thoughts positive as, as, as much as possible because the minute that you put out some negativity, that interrupts sort of that the energy flow. So you can't have any conflicting vibrations. For something to come into your life, it's going to be on the same energy path as you. Just mm -hmm. keep your thoughts light, fluffy, positive, no matter how bad things are around you. It is a wonderful yeah. time to be able to just even just have that moment every day of saying, well, these things are coming into my life. I just don't have them yet. Um, and yeah. then, and that is the, the light at the end of the tunnel, which a lot of us at the moment are in a place maybe not as positive with everything that's going on with COVID-19, but that's the best way to, 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 to get to it. Look, you know, focus on the, the light at the end of the tunnel and that's you achieving what you want to achieve. Keep your thoughts positive. Um, mm -hmm. You know, have a shot at some creative visualisation um, and uh, dream to dream because at the end of the day, it definitely does work. Um, Susan, that's very true. Yeah. We've really enjoyed chatting with you today. Um, do you have any, any final things that you want to say to all the families about giving this a shot? 
No, I mean, I think it might be good for kids to do as well because they might want to sort of focus on what they value because um, a lot of kids are going through a lot of chaotic stuff at the moment. Um, so it might be a nice family exercise that you could sit down and they, everybody could do their own. Um, but, um, and then you could stick it up because the kids might want to sort of like do something or be somewhere or there might be a nice surprise you might want to give them or that they're working towards. So maybe that's something you could do to sort of create a bit of fun. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not too sure other than the fact that, I mean, you never know until you give it a go. Um, so yeah, I, I, I just think, I just think it's a nice little thing to do. Yep. And it's, it's a great exercise. I think well, whilst we are home in isolation, just as I said, as we're reevaluating all of the things in our life, why not create, um, you know, your, your dream life on um, on a, a piece of blank paper like this. And then mm -hmm. the best part about it is when you do achieve it, you look back at it and you just go, damn, I achieved that. That's awesome. And um, well, that, yeah. that's the best Ticking part. Kicking it off would feel great. Yes. Yeah. yeah. As I said, these, these boards here are ones from many, many years ago and I just happened to find them all dusty out in the garage. But that is the best part when you look back and you go, yeah, I wanted that in my life. And then I, then I achieved it, which does prove, you know, it does work so thank you so much for your time if parents have got any other questions for you whereabouts can they find you um at mummy to twins.com oh sorry mummy <laughs> sorry <laughs> mummy to twins plus one <laughs> sorry com. thanks so much for your time today so take care and give my love to the kids okay thank you bye bye